What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to keep track of all of your inventory inside of your Shopify store. I'm gonna be going over just the beginners, how to keep track of inventory, what goes on when you are making sales and your inventory is being deducted or how you can add inventory, as well as how you can also set up bundles inside of your Shopify store. Setting up bundles is something as simple as you selling one SKU multiple times on different listings and making sure that all those singular SKUs are being tracked at the same time. I will also be revealing the application that I actually use that helps me do bundling inside of my Shopify store. All the basics, everything that you need to know about keeping track of your inventory inside of your online store. By the way, my name is Hannah Garner, and if you are new to the channel, I talk about everything and anything that has to do with digital entrepreneurship and e-commerce, building brands online. So if that is something that you're into, make sure that you do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> we're live. So I am going to show you the inside of my computer screen right now and basically give you a breakdown of how you can keep track of your inventory inside of Shopify. So as you can see in here, in all products, I have selected a product here. And where you actually go to see your inventory inside Shopify is from the product listing itself. So as you can see, you add your price. This is where you add your photos, your description. I'm sure you're familiar. When you scroll down here, you're gonna see something that says quantity available. Now, you have an option here, one, to track quanti quantities, which you wanna make sure that that's filled, as well as inputting a SKU. So you wanna make sure that you on your back end have individual SKUs for all of your items. There's a lot of information on the internet of how you can actually set up SKUs that make it intuitive and make sense for your business model. This is an example of what a SKU may look like. And then you, if you want to select continue when selling out of stock, if you know that you're, you can make infinity of the item or you can get the product super fast or if whatever it is you want to oversell even if you go out of stock you want to make sure that this is selected right here again you don't want to oversell and not have the stock available so this option right here is really only for people that know that they're going to have infinity inventory so even though they sell out on the website, it's not gonna put it sold out. There'll still be an option to buy. If you uncheck this, then obviously, when the inventory goes to zero, it will say sold out live on your website. Now, this is where you can add in your quantity here. Now, a few things to note is that when something is bought from your store, it automatically is deducting the inventory live in real time for you. In the case of someone wants to return an item, when you come in here, as you can see, um, this is a refund page. It's a little bit cut off the top, but basically you would go to the order, you can click refund at the top of the page. It's gonna bring you to a page that looks like this. You're gonna say how many items they're returning, so you would say one, and then you just wanna make sure that this is checked here, that, so it's gonna actually restock the item for you, and in real time, it's gonna put that inventory back into the overall quantity so then you can go back and resell it. All right, so we're back into the product page here. And as I mentioned before, you wanna make sure that you do have a SKU. You wanna make sure you're keeping track of quantity and you wanna decide based off your own store if you're going to continue to sell if out of stock. So you come in here and you literally can just adjust the quantity by however many that you want. So you can go 20, you can adjust it by whatever it is here. And then you just wanna save it at the top right quarter of the page. One thing that is really, really important is that say you're setting up this product here and this product has different variants. So to do that, you wanna scroll down here and select this product has multiple options. So if you say you're selling you know, these arrow studs in a pack of one or a pack of two or a pack of three, so, and you wanna set up a variation for that, you would come down here and you would select the variation type that you're selling. So I'm gonna say style, so one pack, then you have a two pack, and then a three pack, right? And so when you do that, it drops it down here. Now, remember that 
even though you're technically selling the same product, but you're bulking or you're bundling things together, which is a really, really good way to sell and adds more value to your listing when you see that they can buy two of the same item for maybe a slightly cheaper price. It's a really, really big selling point. And I always recommend for people to do that if it makes sense for their products. But what you have to remember is that when you bundle a product together, so Shopify doesn't know the difference between this and this and this. Shopify thinks that these are all three different variants, which means they're three different products. But what they don't know is that it's actually the same product being sold in three different ways. So the problem with this is that you can come in here and give quantities to each one of these, but when someone buys from the two pack, it's not gonna deduct it from the one pack. So your inventory is always gonna be miscalculated from your back end. So if you have a hundred of these and you sell, you know, 22 packs, that means that you just had 40 get deducted from your inventory, but these two options to buy don't know that. So this causes a lot of overselling inside your Shopify store. And one thing that I actually use to combat this is something called Sum Tracker. So Sum Tracker, it looks like this. This is the inside of my Sum Tracker application. It is a Shopify app. I do have the link in the description. And this lets me do a lot of things. It lets me sync different stores together. So it lets me sync my Etsy, my Shopify store together. So I'm not only keeping track of bundles, but I'm also keeping track of bundles and duplicate listings inside of Etsy that I also have inside my Shopify store because it's the same store. So everything is very, very, you know, happening in real time. And because I use this, I actually don't ever have to come into my Shopify store to adjust my quantity because I control all of my inventory inside of my Sum Tracker app. So when I set my stock here, so if I go to adjust stock and set stock, and I basically come here and I hit add new and I add a line and I look up I look up a SKU here. I come in here and I set the stock from here and then it sets the stock on my Shopify store and any duplicate listing where I may have, you know, I'm selling the same product but in multiple different types of ways on my store between Shopify and Etsy that is. Now, the next level of that is when you're trying to bundle. So like in the example over here, where we have a one pack, a two pack, and a three pack. So if I come here and I go one, say this is the same SKU, but we're selling two, and then we're selling the same SKU again, but three, and say we just, we're gonna make this an active product. We're not gonna put any pictures in there. We're just gonna, we're gonna save it here. And we're gonna make this live on the store for one second. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna look up this item inside of our sum tracker. So this is the bundle. So this, this bundle is comprised of three one packs. So to set this inside of sum tracker, we would come in here and hit bundles. We would say, add new bundle. It's gonna say, what are you trying to bundle? So we have this product here. Okay, here it is. And now we wanna say, what is this bundle comprised of? So this is comprised of, it is comprised of this three times. All right, and we're gonna save it here. Cool, so if we want to now set the inventory for, now all we have to do is set the inventory for the one pack for it to adjust the inventory amongst the one and the three pack. We still haven't made the bundle for the two pack, which we can set up right now as well. I'll just show you in real time so this all makes sense. We're gonna make a bundle for the two pack. All right, and what is the two pack comprised of? It's comprised of two one packs. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna put two and we're gonna save it. Very good. So now all we need to do is set the stock for the one pack. Let's say we have 500 in stock of the one pack. All right, so we're gonna grab, oh, we're going to grab this code here and we're gonna come back into here and we are gonna set stock. We're going to set stock for the one pack. We're gonna add a line. We're gonna look it up. We're gonna say that there's 500 in stock and then we are going to save it up here. 
Now, what you'll see in a moment here, it will adjust the stock from my Shopify store. It will tell the inventory that it just went to 500 and it's going to already do the calculation since we set up the bundles, so you can never oversell. When you finish here, you do have to come up here and there will be a button that says mark as complete. And then once it turns green to completed, it is gonna update the inventory. So now you will see that the quantity for the one pack is 500, the two pack is 250, and the three pack is 166. So it's calculated calculating this based off the max quantity that you have available inside of your inventory. So you can never oversell your inventory. And remember, every time that I go now to manage my inventory, I do do it through this app. Now, if you don't bundle items, like if you don't have this issue, keeping track of your inventory is as simple as just giving it a skew and updating the quantity and making sure that if you are taking returns that you do have that restock button highlighted so that when that return comes in, that stock does go back into your inventory. As far as bulk adjusting stock, you do have that option as well. When you come into products over here, you can select options here and you can believe you can do a bulk edit. Here you go, you can add fields, pricing, inventory, inventory quantity. And there you go, you can come in here and make adjust in bulk the amount of inventory that you have. So if I put 10 here and say I wanted to pull this down here, you can come down here, I believe you can control C. Oh, there it goes. So just to show you how I just did that, what I just did was I controlled C on a MacBook, so copy, and then you're gonna pull the arrow so it's pointing down. You're gonna pull it down like this, and then you're gonna control V on a Mac. Um, so copy and paste, and then you're just gonna wanna save it up here at the top. So you can bulk edit all your quantities at once. But it's pretty much as simple as that when it comes to managing inventory inside of the Shopify platform. Again, if you do plan on bundling your inventory, do go check out SumTracker, best app by far when it comes to keeping track of inventory for bundles and on multi-platform, multi-channel, or multi-location, which is another level of inventory management that it offers. It also shows you things in there such as like your low stock inventory. So like you can just go to the low stock and you'll see everything that is low in stock without having to physically go into your inventory and check what's low in stock. So that is basically how I do all of my inventory management these days inside of my Shopify store. So yeah, if you guys got any value out of this video, please do go ahead and like this video, comment any questions down below, and subscribe to the channel if you got any value from this video. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you in the next video.